What's up, everybody? Sorry I haven't posted in a while. Just wanted to give you an update what's going on in here in Florida. Uh, it's been pretty busy prepping for the wedding, choosing food, choosing linens, all sorts of stuff, getting our RSVPs back, seating arrangements, all that good fun stuff with the wedding. But uh, I've been busy here trying to make the house look good on the outside, doing a lot of yard work and stuff like that. I've uh, been buying a bunch of car parts here for uh, the Mustang and I just wanted to show you guys what else I got here um, prepping for the 2020 season. Um, got something I think that's going to help my driving out on the dirt side and hopefully quickening that learning curve for the asphalt side. So stay tuned for this video. It's just an update what's been going on here and uh, we'll be pr providing more uh, content here coming up uh, after I get back from Christmas. Uh, hopefully get to do some track days. I'm definitely going to show some videos of the mods that will be uh, due to these cars, so uh, check it out. Alright guys, the day is here. I get my racing simulator. r &L Carriers just showed up. Got to unpackage it. But here she is. It is a Wheeler Metals. Uh, WR1 simulator so uh, very excited um, you know Kyle Larson he had one at his shop I really really wanted one and um, with me transitioning to doing some asphalt racing I needed some practice on some NASCAR tracks so uh, looking forward to unboxing this thing we'll show you guys what it looks like and get to set it up and hopefully have some fun with it RNL Carriers just dropped her off to my front door. This is a WR1 Wheeler Metals simulator. I got the direct drive, the driven seat. It's powder coated red. Uh, very, very excited. Uh, I haven't really been in iRacing much. All my friends have had it, uh, but uh, I've been slacking. So finally pulled the trigger. I need to get some laps on some NASCAR tracks and. Uh, excited to unbox it and, and get it going all right guys well we got it in my office i do not have enough room but we're gonna make it happen but we got the direct drive steering wheel with the mpi attachment we got the nice billet aluminum pedals it's got springs probably hard to see but these wr ones are sweet got the computer Got the 49 inch uh, ultra wide Samsung TV QLED, so very excited. Um, gonna start putting it together tonight. Don't think I'll play it tonight, but just gonna put it all together, show you guys some progress, and uh, show you what these WR1s are all about. Alright, it was pretty damn easy. Just put the computer in, plug the TV in, put the steering wheel on, and we're good to go. This 49 inch wide. Screen's pretty awesome in person. Got the MPI steering wheel. It's a Fanatic pedals, Fanatic wheel, direct drive setup, driven seat. Pretty excited. Got to make a couple tweaks. I think I have to move my pedals forward. I got short legs. Uh, and then I get the seat too close to the wheel. So I'm probably going to move the pedals back a hole or two and... Uh, Get this membership going. I've never had iRacing before, so uh, I gotta get a subscription and uh, should be ready to go. Alright, guys, so I've had the simulator for a little while now and it's a lot of fun. Didn't know he had to do all the tracks and, and all the cars to download, so that took some time to get that all figured out. But the Fanatic direct drive wheel is awesome, the pedals are great. The brake pedal is a little stiff, but that's something that I need to adjust uh the seat's fairly comfortable when you sit straight up but it's uh definitely really cool looking so i uh, just want to give you guys an update on uh, what's been going on here so uh let's go to the garage and show you what we got going on over there all right so it's been beautiful here in florida the last couple days uh we got the mustang here we got some goodies um during the black friday deals going on vortex engineering had a 15 percent off on our, on a supercharger so we will be installing a new blower for my three valve i will unbox it and show it to you guys but i've uh, just been busy here this off season traveling we leave tomorrow to go to connecticut 
Uh, I've just got a lot of stuff going on with the house, trying to get the house looking nice for um, the wedding coming up. We got a lot of people coming um, from uh, Connecticut and, and all over the country. So we got some pretty cool stuff. Got a lot of my old helmets posted up here. Uh, in the meantime, right there in the top right, that is my first ever uh, racing helmet. So pretty cool to have that. I have a bunch of CJB helmets, uh, a couple Roth helmets, my Broncos helmet, 89G, stuff like that. So got a lot of my checks up here, replica wing board of the 89G, my first sprint car. And um, just to change pace a little bit, um, Ignite Fuels um, is a good friend of David Ward with High Performance Lubricant. And... I uh, will be running their Ignite Red in my car here for the track day. So I picked up 20 gallons. Um, put some new plugs in this thing. Um, and I'm going to install this blower. But this blower, uh, I'll show you a little bit more about it. But it requires a little bit of work to install. So i just been getting this car ready. When I get back from Connecticut for Christmas, I plan on getting this thing pretty much ready to go uh, to go to the drag strip. So um, let me unbox the supercharger and show you what it's all about. All right, so here she is. This is called the Vortec V7 JTB and race, it's called. So the JTB is the same dimension and size as what I currently have, which is a Paxton 2200. Uh, but the Paxton 2200 is self-lubricating, so it only holds about eight ounces of oil and uh, it just all self-contained. Now this thing is oil fed, so this shares the oil with the engine. So it has way more capacity. Um, I believe it holds more oil and it's gonna have way more oil to share with the engine. So hopefully for cooler oil temps to try to keep those IATs down. Um, also what's different in the JTB is the billet impeller. So on my other supercharger is a cast wheel and if you looked at comparisons, the fins are a lot bigger on this billet impeller. So it just uh, increases flow. Uh, it, it gains horsepower in the upper RPM range for the supercharger. So pretty much with my old supercharger, I was revving 5,000 RPMs over what they recommended it for. And now this blower is capable of 10,000 RPM more than my old blower. So now I'll have 5,000 RPM uh, for room to grow. So if I put this blower in, hopefully make some more power. Um, and then if I'm bored or want to chase that number, I can still go to a pulley size down and run even more boost and hopefully make even more power. So uh, we just got this thing apart. Uh, did the plugs, clean the MAF sensor, clean the IAT sensor. I'm just cleaning the air filter now. I emptied my um, what blow by tank, you, want, you could call it, or you could call your catch can, but it's a pretty uh, big heavy duty catch can. So uh, no blow by oil in there, which was good. And uh, this thing should be ready to go hopefully in a week or so and, and get to race this thing at the drag strip. Alright guys, hope you liked that quick update. Sorry for the big delay in video, it's just been really busy. Uh, hopefully you liked that, hopefully you liked the simulator. Uh, if you see me on iRacing, David Gravel, that, that's me and you could uh, race me whenever you want. So, plan on uh, practicing uh, the trucks a good bit and racing sprint cars for fun on there too. So, uh, thank you, I'm really excited for my Mustang. I really hope to get into the 9.5 range at 145 plus and a quarter mile. Uh, I think it'll be capable with the improvements of going with Ignite uh, Racing Fuel, the better supercharger that hopefully will keep my uh, IATs down some, and then the blower actually flowing more air. Um, I'm very excited to try out again. It's a lot of fun. Don't get to do it a lot, so we will see what happens. But uh, we'll talk to you soon, guys. Make sure you uh, ring that bell, subscribe, like, and comment all my videos. Thanks for all the support. And uh, we got more car content coming. And I will have news very shortly on my 2020 season and what races I'll be at. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Thanks.